Let's talk about isomorphisms and linear transformations. So let's say we have two finite dimensional vector spaces, an n-dimensional vector space and an m-dimensional vector space. And we have a linear transformation T from one to the other. Now, an n-dimensional vector space is isomorphic to Rn. In particular, if you have any basis B of V, then the coordinate transformation is an isomorphism. And that means that from a vector space point of view, V and Rn are indistinguishable. Now, the same is true over here. W is isomorphic to Rn. Again, if we have any basis of W, then the coordinate mapping is an isomorphism. So W is indistinguishable from, sorry, from Rm. Now, if you have a linear transformation T from V to W, but V is identical to Rn and W is identical to Rm, then there ought to be a corresponding linear transformation from Rn to Rm. What could that linear transformation be? Well, let's say you have a vector up here. It's sent to a vector here. And now you have the image of this vector under this isomorphism. And you have the image of this vector under this isomorphism. Sorry, kind of running out of space. But if now you're looking for a linear transformation from Rn to Rm, the natural thing to try would be to map the coordinate vector of V with respect to B to the coordinate vector of T of V with respect to C. And this is a linear transformation. And now think back all the way to chapter one, if any linear transformation from Rn to Rm is really just matrix multiplication. Every linear transformation from Rn to Rm has a matrix associated with it the matrix of the linear transformation. 
And in the next video, we'll discuss the matrix of this linear transformation. And actually, do you see I have a question mark here? The way that we're going to show that this transformation is linear is by finding a matrix such that applying this transformation is the same as multiplying by the matrix. We'll do that in the next set of notes and the next video.